Everyone is finally here. What a view! Lovely for a fated reunion, isn't it? Well, we must be prepared for a fight. Regardless of the outcome, things finally seem to be taking a turn for the better. Mondstadt has really been going through so much recently. Huh. In the end, the solution to our problem was as simple as a traveler in a song. I suppose the Knights of Favonius may have played a part in it, too. Oh, we get it, Master D. Luke. Everyone, please step aside. I, the best wandering bard of the mortal world, shall begin my performance with the Holy Liar. in your eyes. Sadness that speaks of your yearning for this song. They are communicating. Huh? No! Don't get bored! Do not be fooled by him, dear dragon. He loves you to rot alone. Now, he attempts to deceive you once more. Let your wrath fester! Mondstadt has already turned its back on you! You! You were planning this all on to have me slain by them! No! Listen to me! The time has come for the dragon to serve its true master! <laughs> While you beware your pragmatic selves, watch the world tremble! Devalin. Barbe! Venti! Please, be careful! <laughs> You've known my true identity for some time now, haven't you, Jean? Though... I thank you for continuing to use the name Venti. How's the Holy Liar? Can it still be played, or does it need to be repaired? <sighs> Unfortunately, I think it's beyond repair. You're right. If we don't fight the evil at its source, then we can't save Devalin at all. In which case, I shall call upon Outrider Amber to track it down. No need. Why is that? I eradicated one not long ago, in one of the Four Winds Temples. What? When? If you want to track those monsters down, then I'll seek answers from my contacts. I've got other means for getting the job done. <sighs> Do you look? Though he dislikes the Knights of Favonius, he protects Mondstadt in his own way. Oh? Why does our little Paimon sound so doting all of a sudden? <laughs> Wait for my word. I'll be sure to let the Abyss Order know that their blatant disregard for Mondstadt will not go unpunished.